Hello everyone, I'm geologist Philip Ong. In today's eruption quick take, we're looking at the reactivation of the northeast section of the west vent that built a perch lava pond on its edge, which then burst back into the main lava lake. Let's check that out. This first clip is zoomed in from the S1 camera of the USGS Hawaiian Volcano Observatory. And you can see the main west vent is right in here, this section, putting lava into the lava lake at the entry point that's been persistent for the last few months. And this northeast section is the one that's been reactivated. See, I've clipped here a few hours from March the 7th from the USGS Hawaiian Volcano Observatory's S1 camera. And you can kind of see it builds up this perched lava pond, invisible right in here. And see it spills over into the lava lake in several locations before it actually bursts forth more in here and the whole interior of that pond drains out right through here. And the stream, which has now been, become persistent um, over the several days since then. So we now have two entry points in the lava lake from the west vent. Let's show you guys here zoomed out view. So we're actually, we're looking at the section right in here. Here's our main entry point. This is before that secondary outburst began. And let's play it for you guys. There it is, it begins right over there. It puts out this more silver colored lava flow. In the nighttime, you can see it a little bit better along the crater wall right over there. The main activity being right in here and then putting a new entry right, right in there. And I see it's actually become higher on this backside than the lava lake edge right over here. And we'll zoom in one more time. Play it a little bit slower in a full sequence here. So here's our west vent. There is our new northeast section flow. See your area right in here is where we're building in the perch lava pond. You can see it builds a crust over. There's an entry point that persists right through here, and this is where the main bulk will drain out. And there it goes right there. You actually can saw a little bit of movement of the wall of the pond over on this side and this side that kind of sag outwards and allow that lava in the interior to be released into the lava lake. Okay, so we can see this in the thermal as well. Here it is in the thermal view. There's that side flow. It was long to start before it builds up this base right in here and builds the perch lava pond right in here. We're now looking in a thermal camera from the west. So slightly different view than the previous angle. But we can kind of see it builds up a crust, cooler colors, and now you can see it draining back in right in there. Let me rewind that since I just drew over it. Put it back over here. Yeah, just a small draining, still filling the lava lake, and the big, the big draining comes right about here. See the sagging of that cracking and the cooler colors of the crust right in there. Right, and that's the thermal view, and we can kind of zoom out a little bit and see it, look at this in the context of here's a view of the past week and a half or so, showing that main and wet entry point in the west vent, and here's our new one that's persisted now for the last few days. All of this within this initially more of a crescent earlier last month shaped lava lake that's been receding from its south and from its north into this more of an oval shape. And all this while feeding lava beneath this crust in the backside and injecting lava up through the cracks and these occasional warm flows on the edges. So we can see that the shape of the, of the active surface of the lava lake has been changing. Not only that, but we can kind of see here, this is a clip from the S1 camera daytime um, for several months now. And I'll play this on a loop. We're just showing the level of the lava lake rising relative to the west vent. And I know there's a lot of flicker and it's kind of jerky. This is the best view from the S1 cam, I apologize. The point is, you can see right in here, the lava lake level rising relative to the west vent. So as the exit point of lava into the lava lake changes, you may have adjustments like a reactivation of this northeast section of the west vent, only a few meters or yards away. So we have some imagery here from the USGS. This is a, a image that I've color corrected here. You can kind of see 
from an upper area of the west vent. There was a spatter and there's a steep channel and an exit point near the base of the cone that comes around into the lava lake. This is the perched edge, the perch rim, the perch lava lake, and the main entry point we've seen very over the last few weeks and months as the pressure changes on the volcano. This began, here's a view before the new lava flow came out of that northeast section. And USGS reports have referred to this in various uh, ways, and so here are some of the excerpts of their reports. Um, the northeast section of the west vent, just several meters or yards away, has been feeding another lava flow near the lake since March 5th. On Friday, HVO geologists observed the breakout from the west vent within Halemaumau Crater at the summit of Kilauea Volcano. No glow or spatter could be seen an hour before the breakout occurred on the northern side of the cone, but loud hissing noises from the vent area were audible to field crews. The activity began with weak incandescent spatter being thrown from the top of the cone at 11.45 a.m. Hawaiian Center time, gradually increasing in vigor for about 30 minutes. The molten spatter fed two small lava channels down the northeast side of the cone. The flows merged at the base of the cone and continued to flow along the northern stagnant lava lake margin. What you guys can see right in here, lava exit points and flowing along the northeast lava lake margin with a barrier, the perched rim, that's holding in this bigger lava lake that's in the foreground from the side flow that builds this perch pond. As the lava flow continued from the northeast side of the west vent, it spread across the inactive crust at the northwest lava lake margin and eventually spilled over into the active lava lake. Lava also continued to enter the lava lake from the inlet at the base of the west vent. By midday yesterday, this flow had built a perch lava pond on the northwest lake margin, but it abruptly collapsed into the main lava lake just after 1 p.m. Since then, the flow from the northeast section of the vent has stabilized into a second semi-steady inlet into the lava lake. And that is our eruption quick take for the day. Mahalo, everyone.